What's up guys, welcome to uh, anabolicmen.com YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about a cool uh, supplement that everyone knows about, but no one really takes because everyone's <laughs> evidenced by the fact that everyone's deficient in it. Statistically you are, if you're watching this video, you are deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D, interesting tidbit, is not actually a vitamin. It is a steroid hormone. So that's pretty cool. You learned something already. <laughs> Basically, it regulates over a thousand uh, bodily functions in the human body, in, in yeah, in humans. Uh, we naturally synthesize it, but most people are deficient in, in both vi dietary vitamin D levels, <clears throat> as well as getting uh, you know adequate sunlight to synthesize it. So uh, we're gonna look at some studies. Vitamin D is, is an outstanding endocrine uh, boosting hormone essentially so because it is a hormone so that would make sense uh, but we're gonna look at some uh, some of the most recent studies uh, and, and I'm gonna show you its link to testosterone levels specifically so this study we found out that that uh, men with sufficient vitamin D levels actually had significantly higher testosterone levels levels and lower SHBG levels than men who had an insufficient amount of the vitamin slash hormone in their blood serum. This study found out that when healthy male participants take uh, just over 3,000 IUs of vitamin D daily for a year, they actually had uh, just over 25% more testosterone on average compared to a placebo in the other men. This study found out that older men who supplement with vitamin D are less likely to have low testosterone levels than men who are not supplementing with, with uh, vitamin D. In this Australian study, Researchers found that in older men, low vitamin D status is associated with low free testosterone and increased fracture risk because vitamin D also impacts uh, bone health. Now, this study examined the already proven positive association between vitamin D and testosterone levels. Now, they had uh, just under 1,400 male subjects, they had 1,362 male subjects, and the results show that vitamin D actually had a linear positive association with serum total and free testosterone levels. However, when the amount of vitamin D uh, in serum goes above 80 nanomolars per liter, which is about the optimal amount in, in serum, the increase in testosterone plateaus, meaning that vitamin D more than likely does increase testosterone levels. However, at a certain point, when you're in the optimal range of vitamin D, you're not gonna see an increase anymore, which makes total sense. It's, it's similar with other vitamins and minerals. Now, it's, it's better, and, and researchers in this study right here, actually in 1939, it's an old study, uh, found that it's better for you to get uh, vitamin D from sunlight exposure, uh, which showed that five days of UV light exposure to men's chest area actually increased total testosterone levels by 120%, which is outstanding, which also might explain why a lot of times when you're in uh, kind of a beachy environment, uh, or say you're on vacation, uh, and you spend the week on vacation uh, out in the sun, at the pool every day, getting the sun, especially if your body's not uh, accustomed to getting much sun. Uh, a lot of people report, anecdotally of course, uh, but they report that they just feel uh, way more relaxed. They feel like they, it's easier to stay lean, it's easier to uh, control cravings and stay healthy. And that may be because of a UV uh, light exposure dependent increase in testosterone levels. Now, when genitals in the study were exposed to UV radiation for the same amount of time, the increase in testosterone skyrocketed to 200%, which is awesome, five days. So here's some evidence that bright light exposure signals to the brain to release LH, which is luteinizing hormone, which triggers testicular Leydig cells to produce testosterone. So being out in the sun for that vitamin D is definitely not a bad idea. Now, there were some other studies. Here's one uh, that... It, it's been noted in both humans and animals, blood vitamin D levels are positively associated with sperm quality and motility. Uh, there, there are three studies. I'm just gonna flash the three studies here up on the screen. You can screenshot them if you wanna look at it. You can also read the article in the description uh, if you're on YouTube. What does this all tell us? So the first thing is that men with low vitamin D levels are likely to have low testosterone levels. Second, healthy men who decide to supplement with low dose vitamin D can expect uh, upwards of around a 25% uh, increase in testosterone in their bloodstream, which is great. Uh, third, if your serum vitamin D levels are already in 
the optimal range, you're probably not going to see a significant increase in testosterone levels. So note, note that. Also, fourth, last but not least, uh, UV light exposure will help increase testosterone levels very significantly. So, uh, how much vitamin D should you take? You need to have basically around 50 to 70 uh, nanograms per deciliter um, vitamin D levels in, in the blood. So you can basically achieve that with, with a uh, low to normal dose, dose of a uh, vitamin D liquid, which we, we have one, a uh, very high quality one, in the Anabolic Men marketplace now, store.anabolicmen.com. Uh, or you can get it through a good multivitamin, like uh, Raw One, or just spend a few hours in the sun each day. So highly recommend vitamin D. And I also apologize for my neighbor who is playing with a chainsaw at eight in the morning.